please. I hope this goes right. Potassium permanganate. Wonderful stuff this. It can make things fizz. It can make things explode. And it can give school kids the worst case of freckles ever if they don't listen to the teacher's instructions. Now I'm just going to dilute this in a little bit of warm water and what I'm going to use it for is to artificially age the new bit of spruce. You see how purple that is? I'm going to age the new piece of spruce that's in the front of the guitar and darken it a little bit so that it doesn't stand out. Now I got this trick from a Stumac video, Stuart MacDonald, The Luthier Supplies, and I'll put a link to it underneath. Now I've, I've no doubt that it works, this is a powerful oxidising agent, but slight word of scepticism. One of the products of the oxidising process is manganese dioxide, and it's brown. So I'm not convinced that the brown colouring is entirely down to oxidisation. Some part of it will be due to the manganese dioxide. And hopefully you'll be able to see on that that it's turning brown as it dries. Is the paper being oxidised or is that brown colour the manganese dioxide? It probably doesn't matter. But the reason I mention it is that in the video, Mamie claims that this process is reversible, that you can bleach the colour out afterwards. I'm not convinced about this because manganese dioxide will not bleach. No doubt you'll be able to bleach any darkening of the wood caused by the oxidisation, but the manganese dioxide will still be present. This probably doesn't matter for what we want to achieve. So let's get the guitar out. Let's start painting potassium permanganate on the front of it. <laughs> Please, I hope this goes right. I have a very fine artist brush and I'm going to try to just paint the new spruce and keep the potassium permanganate away from the other areas. Don't know how crucial that is, but let's give it a go. And I'm not doing a very good job of keeping it straight. That was better. Just a little at a time. Even sure there was any on the brush there. And we're just going to keep going until I'm happy with the result. Before I tried this, I made sure that the potassium permanganate won't attack the CA glue, super glue that I've used for the joint. It is an oxidising agent and I, I wanted to check that the CA glue was stable in the presence of potassium permanganate. And it is. This needs a very light touch. It does appear to be important to just keep the potassium permanganate 
where you want it. Well, clearly, <laughs> that must that should have been obvious. And of course, I'm getting better at this now. Now that I've managed to stain the wood either side the crack. Oh, I'm going off target there. I'm just going to do that a little bit there, even though I think that's just purely CA glue. 